Hello everyone! Welcome to another vlog. Ang Casa Gorordo ay itinayo noong taong 1850s at original itong pagmamayari ni Alejandro Reynes y Rosales. So what we have here for the common or the usual ancestral houses here in Cebu, these furnitures are really common. This is like parang teaser natin, parang trailer natin up, out at sa taas ng bahay. So actually, um, this is really common in other ancestral houses, especially yung mga butangan here natin. So uh, have you seen one? Yung butang Later on, the house was bought by a Spanish merchant named Juan Isidro de Gorordo, and four generations of his family lived here, including Juan Gorordo, who was the first Filipino bishop of Cebu. Bawat silid ay sumasalamin sa kultura at pamumuhay ng mga naninirahan dito. Ang kabuuan ng bahay ay may mayamang kwento at kisaysayan na sadyang nakakamangha. Another witness of the war, 
we have these vines right here. So they are uh, just as old as the house and they came from just one roof down there. Yes. Balik balik kamo sa Casa Gallardo. Thank you. Mosea Sogbo was formally called Carcel Distrito. Ito ay matatagpuan sa nooy pangunahing piitan sa buong kabisayaan. Ang matibay nitong struktura ay gawa sa buhangin, coral at egg white. Ito ay itinayo ni Don Domingo de Esconrillas noong 1871. This was also a prison where Katiponeros were taken. Nanatili itong isang provincial jail mula American occupation hanggang matapos ang digmaan. talaga yung actual height. Yes, so, uh, <laughs> oh my gosh, mas matangkad pa ako sa kanila. <laughs> Ngayon ko lang to na feel. <laughs> okay. If you love to explore the mountainous site and are drawn to nature, pwede ka din bumisita sa Sirao Garden. This is also known as the Little Amsterdam of Cebu. Dahil sa taglay nitong ganda at sa mga bulaklak dito tulad ng hyacinth, daffodil at tulips. Sogbo Mercado is located in IT Park, Apa, Cebu. As soon as you get here, makikita mo na it's definitely a full compilation of different food cravings. Simula sa fresh grilled seafood, fusion of Japanese food, American food, Korean food, Malaysian food, and native Visayan dishes hanggang sa masasarap at super affordable na milk tea, fruit shakes, at mango desserts. Our dinner time is usually spent here since super lapit lang sa pinagstayan namin. And I don't think enough ang isang araw sa pagbisita dito dahil maraming options na pwedeng kainin. Plus, it's fairly priced. The only downside, for sure, amoy uso ka after. But that's nothing compared to great food experience waiting for you in Subbo Mercado.